switch on the calculator then reset the calculator because sometimes you have done some functions in in it so reset the calculator that means for resetting press shift then press mod then you can see 3 that is all so press number 3 that is reset all then press equal to two times equal to equal to now our calculator has been reset now we are going to type this equation in calculator so for typing the letter x you can see alpha button near the shift button you can see alpha button press the alpha button then the closing bracket button above the closing bracket button you can see the variable x so press the closing bracket button so we get the value as variable as x now we need to put x cube so press this arrow then press 3 so x cube minus 4 then press alpha then the closing bracket 4x minus 9 now we wrote the equation in calculator now if you press equal to we will get the value when x equal to 0 so if you press equal to we will get minus 9 step 1 is to find the interval for finding interval we need to put x equal to 0 1 2 and 3 in this equation so when we put x equal to 0 in this equation we will get minus 9 that's what we get here now we need to put x equal to 1 in this equation that is 1 cube minus 4 into 1 minus 9 like that so for putting 1 in calculator press calc button under the shift button you can see calc button press calc button and they are asking x equal to question mark so we need to find for 1 so press number 1 then press equal to we get minus 12 now for f of 2 that means x equal to 2 so again press calc then press 2 then press equal to we will get minus 9 then again press calc then press number 3 then press equal to we will get 6 so consecutive negative and positive value where we are getting consecutive negative and positive value there the interval will be lying so when f of 2 and 3 so our interval will be between 2 and 3 that means our x will be lying between interval 2 and 3 now we need to do the initial approximation for that we need to check which value is lying close to 0 minus 9 or 6 which is lying close to 0 6 is lying close to 0 so we are going to approximate x equal to 3 our x will be lying near to 3 now I did the initial approximation by putting x equal to 3 that means in calculator I am going to type 3 then press equal to now when we type answer in calculator we will get the value as 3 that means I, I did the initial approximation as 3 in calculator now we need to find the value x1 for finding x1 this is our equation that is newton raphson method the equation is this one so x0 means our initial initial approximation and f of x0 means this question itself then f dash of x means the derivative of our question so this will be our equation for this question x my x then f of x means the question f dash of x is the derivative of the question now in for substituting this in calculator we need to put wherever we are seeing x x x x for those x we need to put answer in calculator so for this equation x that means answer minus then put the bracket x cube that means answer you can see answer button here near the equal to button so answer raised to 3 raised to 3 minus 4 into answer minus 9 so we put f of x close the bracket then divided by f dash of x so divided by f dash of x is 3x square minus 1 so here also there is x for x we need to put answer so open bracket 3 into answer square minus 4 now we close the bracket now we are going to find x1 so when we press equal to button we will get 2.739 then if we press again equal to that is going to be a second iteration we are going to get 2.706 then if I, again if you are going to press equal to that is our third iteration that is 2.706 this is our answer x 2.706 at 2.706 our f of x will be 0 that means our newton raphson method will be converging so if you have any doubt please rewatch the video or watch the video again 
and clarify the doubt and please mention your doubt in the comment section.